bird. An uh, incredibly beautiful bird. Um, it's called a Shelley's Franken. And they're normally very, very skittish and, and they hide. Andrew and I actually had a very brief view in this area of one not that longer. And there's another one coming out onto the road. Um, It's, it's quite rare to see them this relaxed out in the open. So we're just going to sit quietly and maybe the other one will come out as well and you can see the difference. Going closely there, I think I made a, a boo boo. I'm as close as I can go. That looks like a male cokey Franken, sorry, but I could have sworn the other one I saw looked like a, a Shelley's. Let's have it, yeah, that's definitely a male cokey Franken. Uh, also, another one of those. Frank, those Franklins um, that you don't see that often. So if you guys manage to get a, a screenshot of the first uh, one that was just on the edge, it is possibly a female Koki, but it could also be a Shelley's, and, it's, and sometimes they are seen together. So if you guys manage to, to have a quick look there, see which, uh, which Franklin that was. But just that there were only two of them, I think I'm going to lean towards Koki. We're going to try move a little bit further forward. But you see, they move very slowly. One of their defense mechanisms is right, right next to me. So just try not move too fast. That's the, the female is the one we're going to look at, or the other one. It's running off. There's a couple of them in here. See, rather than burst and take off, they rather sort of scurry away with their heads down to sort of not give away their presence. That was that. Very close to a whoopsie for me there, so I got I got quite excited because we we saw Shelley's and heard Shelley's um, calling in this area a couple of days ago when we were out tracking. Um, so there's I'm pretty sure it's a, a Koki Franklin there. There's the male. So let me go a bit further away for you there, there. And there's the female. So what happened is I just saw that white throat, and I was like, oh Shelley, Shelley's, but then. Um, when you looked a bit close, I was like, hang on, it's not really a Shelley's. But uh, Shelley's has got a, a great call. Because uh, normally you hear them calling a lot, but you don't see them. And they go... <whistles> and now my grandfather taught me how to remember that. He says they're saying, to drink a beer, to drink a beer, to drink a beer, to drink a beer. Good afternoon, Lynn. Welcome on Drive. Lynn would like to know what birds we can expect to see in the winter months. Uh, well, Lynn, quite a, a big uh, variety. Uh, we, most of our bird species are resident and the migrants are in the minority. 
So we'll see four different species of, of Franklin. And one of the nice things is we are seeing things now like Cokie Franklin and Shelley's Franklin now that the, the grass is getting dry and shorter and with it's when it's so thick and in, um, in summer we don't really see them too often and um, I'm sure they will have snake eagles around, the bataliers will still be around, vultures, um, your cysticolas or cysticolas, uh, palaces, crombecks, uh, a lot <laughs> in other words. But the ones we're probably going to see uh, quite a lot on game drive, starlings, um, helmet shrikes, uh, what else do we eat? heron, uh, and then obviously lapwings, uh, crowned, blacksmith and lesser black winged. And what else, what else, what else can I think of offline at the moment? Oxpeggers! Hornbills, thank you Andrew. The most obvious one that we probably see the most of every day and I, I completely forget it. Anyway.